Hey guys, this is Don. Um, I woke up early today, so I figured um, I told one of the guys I was going to make a video about um, opening range. So um, this video is going to be all about opening range. So if you're a rag or you know if you really know this stuff, you can you don't have to watch this. It's pretty much all about uh, opening range. Um, all right, so let's start with by saying that um. You guys should download uh, Poker Stove if you guys don't have it yet. Um, it's a must-have for um, Limit, and um, even if you're lazy, I remember um, when I first started, I, you know, I was pretty much bad with programming and all that stuff. But um, finally, I got Poker Stove, and um, it completely changed, you know, how you play. Um, and you can look at, you know, what ranges people can have by looking at the stat. So it's a must-have program. Um, Alright, so we're going to begin with um, talking about under the gun range. Um, for this video, I'm going to, it's certainly not going to be 100% uh, of my range, it's going to be just default. Um, because uh, my range is going to be a little bit looser, however, um, my post flop skill is a little bit better than um, most beginners so um, and then for the fact that um, if you're just new to the game you wanna just be a little bit more tighter um, uh, with, with the default range for this um, you can still win you know um, uh, I think you can still win at 3-6 so you don't really have to worry about um, being loose or you know being looser than most um, certainly you don't wanna be um, too tight like 10-8 uh, V-Pit and uh, pre fart raise but um, I think I can't remember I think some players have like 15-11 and they and they're winning so um, it's all about post flop skill you know you can have the best um, pre fart range but your post flop um, suck you, you're gonna end up losing but um, if you don't have a um, a good um, pre flop range, your your it's gonna screw up your post flop a little bit because you're um, opening opening different hands in different positions. Um, you're not aware of people um, opening range, so you don't know how to rack. You know you don't know what hands to do best. And I see that a lot, even um, even with um, a lot of regulars, I see um, their range is still pretty messed up. Um, they don't have it down accurately, but um, all right. Let's talk about the under the gun range. Um, so for under the gun, you want to be most rags gonna have basically um, from under the gun to middle position. So all the range is gonna be pretty much similar opening range. So um, let's start off by let's get rid of these ten. I think you can start with pocket eight, pocket eight and up, and um, king jack suited, queen jack suited. I think it's fine. Um, actually, you can even get rid of Queen Jack um, suited if you're, and this is pretty much um, what you can start with. Um, the the reason why um, the strong, you know, like Queen Jack suited, it might sound, you know, it might it might look good. However, um, it's different than No Limit, where I think where you know you can. Um, open that and then see bet a decent amount and get rid of it. Um, the reason why you want to do it at with um, limit is that um, when you do get three bet, um, you know it's you're there. People when they three bet, you, they're pretty much dominating you majority of the time. Um, like um, people want to three bet with you with like ace king, um, ace queen suited, um, pocket, you know pocket queen and up, but even pocket jack ten. You know with Queen Jack, you're gonna put yourself suited. You're gonna put yourself in a lot of tough um, um, spot when the board is, you know, even though it hits you. Let's say it hits the queen or it hits the jack, you're not really sure, you know, because when someone three bet you, their range is gonna be really, really tight, really strong and tight. So um, you don't, you, you don't wanna, you don't have to worry about um, opening loose in under the gun, um, unless the table is like massively, um, massively tight or massively. Um, uh, calling a bunch of calling station. Um, you know you can build up the pot with you know, um, but you're you're mostly trying to win it with um, mate straight or flush, flush. So, um, 
certainly um, once you get a uh, better post slot you can sometimes do you know you can sometimes open it up just just a tiny bit with um, maybe um, king 10 suited queen jack suited but um, otherwise this should be good enough for um, under the gun range around you want to keep a note of um, 8.6 percent around there and then under gun plus um, plus one which is where I'm at um, you just want to add you know ace 10 um, excuse me um for under the gun you don't want to even open with king queen um, off um, but uh, for under gun plus one you want to add that and then you can add pocket seven um, queen jack um, and then you know um, and then under gun plus two you do it's between between the under the gun and two miss vision there's not much you you have to add um, you can play tight you know just you don't have to worry about adding too much so it's just king ten and then um let's see what else I would add um, I think this is, would be pretty much it um, and then uh, middle positions which is this guy Sam right here um, you can add I'm um, sorry um, under the gun plus one you can you can add um, ace nine suited and you know with under plus two you can also you can start adding once each for each, each position you want to add you know just one hand you know with the suited um, ace so um, by the time you reach to the middle positions, you can add um, uh, queen ten suited, um, jack ten suited, um, even pocket six, eight seven suited is certainly fine. Um, you can see that you don't you don't add um, the off yet because um, the off suit you know king jack and all that stuff yet because you're still pretty much still going to be dominated when you get three bets so and um, so you don't want to do that yet. Um, so in middle positions, middle positions you can add that, and then middle positions plus one, um, eight six, and now gone down to let's see, let's see how many players left. Three, uh, six. So basically, once you get to um, middle position plus one, it's it's basically like um, six max game. So for six max, um, if anyone read the uh, the book um, shorthand. Um, I think what's what's it called for tough limit hold'em. Um, I think that was the book that um, pretty much everyone talk about in the micro um, forum. Um, so and this is where this is where it gets um, you can be like really laggy um, because once you get to six max, um, you're you know four players are gone. Um, you can add a uh, pocket five, um, ace five. King Jack, some of the time. King Nine, certainly. Um, but, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, Fifteen percent, six, almost sixteen percent. And then in the uh, let's see here. Where where was I? Uh, let's see, six five. So this would be the hijack cutoff button. So in the hijack, you want to add. Um, you know, ace four, um, ace eight, uh, ace eight off. Um, certainly, got this hand. Not ten nine. Let's see here, king. Uh, king eight. Um, I would avoid that until you get. Um, um, certainly, once you uh, get better, you can add um, a lot more suited. Um, a lot more suited. Um, Almost connector, but not yet. Um, like king eight, um, queen eight suited, and stuff like that. Um, uh, once you get to the, um, the cutoff, this is where um, this is where there's a whole different level of play between the rag and the lag, the laggier player. You know, the tight and the really aggressive um, lag players. You know, you can open all this king ten off, all this basically. King nine, I would open certainly down to uh these three go uh let's see here pocket four um so let's see let's see what else I would add. I'm trying to
All right, so this is fine for um, for if you're just starting. Um, you can see this is the range is so much um, bigger once you reach to the cutoff because now there's only this is pretty much still in, in the cutoff um, because now you only have to worry about the button and then you know um, usually in um, micro um, to small li small limit um, people don't um, defend their blind enough um, and they're still pretty tight so you can still pretty wide in the cutoff um, I think um, um, the uh, the average cutoff opening is around like um, from the tight players from like 25% until the really laggy players 45%. So certainly you can um, you can play around with poker self and um, add see what hand. If you're new, you wanna um, not add too much. Um, just you know, just get the feel of it, and I think you should still be able to um, beat the micro, even being a little bit um, tighter than usual. So this is uh, certainly what I think would be the default for the cutoff. And then the button is even. This is where you know it's even more wider. Um, guys, um, still in, on the button from anywhere from like um, you know tight on a tight side like 30% into the really loose where some guy even opened 100% um, of their range certainly 100% um, opening up your range is profitable if you if the um, button um, falling there still um, more than uh, more than even more than 50% or but I wouldn't advise um, opening 100% if they fall 50%. Around if they fall, you know, 55%, you can open 100%. Um, it also depends on the small blind also. Um, you want to look at the small blind, um, what their falling range is, which is good. You should add that into your um, HUD. Um, but um, let's start. Let's um, go over what you're still. So most guys for default. Um, on the button, they still with any ace, any king, um, any suited ace. Obviously, um, down for king, um, queen. You can go that um, queen ten. Um, this is where a lot of majority of the the guy diff, um, their their styles are different. You know, some guy don't open. Um, some guy even um, open all the queen, which I think is a mistake. Um, if the the blind is somewhat decent, um, and also one thing um, I want to remind you know you guys just because someone's um, falling 50% in the big blind doesn't mean that um, they're gonna fall you know all every time you uh, you open because they're gonna notice when someone when someone play with you a lot when you know and they have the same um, hut um, pop up and they see that you're opening a lot you, they're gonna start adjusting you know they're gonna start um, calling like really wider than usual against you and they will check raise bluff um, and stuff like that um, and the bottom of your bottom of your range is not going to be protected so you're pretty much going to be losing money um, so certainly um, um, for beginner I actually would not advise um, opening too wide maybe around 45% is fine um, certainly um, there's a lot of winners um, that open and they're not too, um, they don't open too wide uh, on the button like um, 